Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another one of my videos where I react to your Disney memories from any different Disney park or even at home if you've got a Disney memory. I started this series about two months ago when this whole pandemic first started or hit the UK anyway and I was overwhelmed with the amount of emails that I got from you guys so whilst initially I thought only one video should be sufficient uh, because I got too many I decided to do more because I wanted to try and react to as many of them as possible. Having said that, today's video is going to be the final one so I'm going to try and get through all the ones that I haven't got through yet. I might still miss some out and I'm sorry if I do, but I'm gonna try my best. This video might also be a little bit longer than my previous two because I'm gonna probably try and react to more of them. But without further ado, let's get to it. Got my laptop here as always. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's go and have a look at the very first memory here. This is from Lauren Palmer. She says, Hi Sam, my name is Lauren. I've watched your videos for a few years now and every time I watch it, it makes me want to go back to Disney so bad. The photos I've attached are from separate trips, either with my friends, big Disney fans or family. First is me with Chip and Dale, they're my absolute fave. It's on three separate trips uh, at all different ages. Of There are 16 years between the top left and the right picture. I'm excited to look at the pictures in a second. Second is me with Donald Duck, my mom loves him. Third, okay, so I'm gonna have a look at the photos because the explanations are with them, so. Oh, the Chip and Dale photos are so cute. Now I get it, what you're saying with the whole 16 years between you um, in the photos. I love it. I love that you've got, got like a kind of series of photos with them as, you, as you've grown up. Um, yeah, the one of you when you were little is, is adorable. And then the most recent one, I'm guessing, with Chip and Dale in Disneyland Paris by the castle. That's really cute as well. The picture of you and Donald is also very cute. You said your mum really enjoys him. I enjoy Donald as well. He's pretty cute. Um, it's from the 20th anniversary as well. I loved his outfit. His outfit for the whole 25th anniversary, sorry, not 20th. The 25th anniversary was really, really cool. You guys know how much I enjoy blue. With the third photo, you said, third is a time shot me and my pals took mainly for Instagram, but love the angle we got. Let's have a look. Oh, that is a very cool photo. I love it a lot. Like amazing that you got it, you know, timed and everything and you didn't, nobody actually took the photo. It was timed and you still managed to get a really, really cool shot. Yeah, I agree with you. The angle's really cool. You've got the whole castle. Very cute. And then the last photo, she says, last is my all time favorite photo. We hung around in the shops until it was near enough empty in the park. My friend pretty much was lying on the ground and we managed to get this. I love it. Let's have a look. Oh, that is a phenomenal shot, Lauren. I love it as, as well. Like, wow. It's one of those like goals that everybody wants to do when they go to Disneyland Paris or any Disney park, to be honest. I've done it a few times, you know, it just depends on if I'm <laughs> prepared to stay in the parks that late. But um, I think it's, it's definitely something fun to do every now and again. And when you get that shot, it's like, as you said, uh, a lifetime memory and uh, an, the ultimate photo in a way. And um, yeah, I love it. That's a really nice shot, basically. Next one is from Sophie Beaven. Uh, she says, hi, I'm Sophie, just sharing some of our Disney memories. My son Archie is shy and hates being the center of attention. We went to Disney World two years ago and he did the Knights package in BBB. He loved it. He was silent while having it done, but once we were out and around the park, he loved it. I've never seen him so confident and he actually enjoyed the attention he got. I think this picture really shows how happy he was. Oh my God, the photo, you are right. He looks so happy. Like this is like literally the epitome, epitome. Why did I say epitome? the epitome of happiness and he looks great with with the outfit and everything I that's a fantastic photo and there's another one of him I'm guessing just after it was done which is also cool I, these are such cute photos and then you sent me a third photo and you said the next photo is my little girl Alana her first experience of Disney at 14 months old Wow she loved the characters and was super cute when we went to be our guest she saw the beast across the hall and ra ran after him all around the tables in her little bell dress unfortunately I didn't have my camera with me uh, and I was alone, so I had to just enjoy the moment, but it made me very emotional. P.S. I love watching you. Thank you very much, Sophie. Let's have a look at this. Oh, oh, that is a cute photo. She looks so beautiful with the dress. She looks so happy as well. Um, I think it's absolutely fine that you didn't get a photo of her with the beast or anything or when she was running after the beast because, you've, like you said, you've got the memories. It will stay with you forever anyway, and you've still got this photo of her outside uh, Be Our Guest, I'm guessing, before it happened and she looks adorable so thank you so much for sharing these with me the next one is from megan baker she says hi sam i saw your instagram story and thought i'd share my happiest disney memories this is back in december 2016 wow when my boyfriend asked me to marry him oh, on a bench just down from the castle doing our trip and then back in 2018 sat on our bench she's put in quotation marks 
on our anniversary. I think it's a, it's a lovely idea what you're doing and I love watching your videos. Thank you very much, Megan. So let's have a look at that. Oh, oh, that is so cute. Okay, I've just seen the first photo. Congratulations. Well, I know this was obviously a few years ago now, but that's still exciting. And then the second picture of you on your bench. That is so cute. And I love the idea as well, the fact that now that's kind of turned into your bench and it will always hold a special memory for you whenever you go there. And yeah, I love that. So thank you for making me happy with your memory. By the way, if you guys can hear any noises in this video, background noises, I apologize. Uh, it's quite hot in London today. It's like 27 degrees. So we've got the windows open and it's in London, so even though we're in lockdown, there are cars still. Next photo is from Chris Hendricks. Um, Hi Sam, I'm Chris from TN. I love watching all your Disney videos. They make me so happy. Oh, thank you very much. Um, here are a couple of my faves, fave photos from my recent trip in January. Let's have, oh wow, that is, I love that shot a lot. You guys know how much I love Toy Story and whilst Woody is my fave, Buzz is also absolutely amazing and I mean you basically look alike <laughs> like Buzz should be worried here because you could be the space ranger with the pose and everything and the jumper and, oh that's really cool and the second photo oh it's just in front of the castle in Disney World I love your outfit as well blue and everything so yeah thank you very much Chris for sharing these the next one is from Sarah or Sarah Lawson she's not really put anything in the email apart from just one photo as far as I can tell and it's a really cute photo um, of her hugging someone from the parade, I would imagine, which is not like something that happens regularly. So it's a very, very special situation. And I can see why Sarah or Sarah, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. There's no H at the end of her name. That's why I'm saying Sarah. But yeah, um, I can see why this would be a special memory for you. And yeah, I, I love it. It's a great shot. Whoever took this picture of you whilst it happened, because it would have been like, in the middle of a parade I would imagine. In fact, if you're watching this right now, please let me know in the comments like more as to what the story was because um, I would love to know. Thank you. Then we've got some memories and photos from Amy Stewart. Uh, hi Sam, just because this picture meet means a lot to me and it's probably my favourite Disney memory so far. Daisy was showing off my ears to the people in the queue as she was on them and wouldn't stop kissing me and wouldn't let me leave. So Donald joined in. Disney magic love Amy. Let's have a look at the photo. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that is a very, that is an adorable picture. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing it with me. Next, we have some photos from Emma Salmon. Um, I would like to share my Disney memories last August from Emma Salmon 30. I love your Disney magic in your blog, Sam. Have a magical day. Thank you very much, Emma. Let's have a look. There are two photos here. Oh, the first one is um, Emma with Baloo, which is very cool. I haven't met Baloo in ages, actually, and he's a really fun character to meet. And the second one is adorable as well. It's Meet Mickey Classic in Disneyland Paris. Both of you look great with the background and everything. Next, we have an email from Zoe Sterling. And she says, hey Sam, how's you? Seen your post on Facebook, so I thought I would send you some pictures. Hope you're doing well with the pandemic that's going on. Stay safe out there. Can't wait for more of your vlogs. Thank you very much, Zoe. That is a that is a cute photo. That is a really nice photo, actually, of you in front of the castle in Disneyland Paris, because somehow there's nobody in the background. I don't know how you've managed that. I'm guessing it would have been early in the morning or when it was just a quiet day, but it's a really nice shot, you know, with the guy. I miss the castle so much. And then we've got a photo of her with Baloo. We were just talking about Baloo before with Emma, and now I've got another one. And this, like, it's hilarious. I mean, what was going on there? Baloo was just, like, full on hugging you. It's like, this is a, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. We've got a picture of you and Donald, and Donald's full on, like, presenting you to the world that's really cool as well and then you've also sent me one uh in ariel's grotto in disney world which you know i always love it's literally you guys know ariel is my favorite princess <laughs> she's not but i always enjoy her and that's a nice photo of you guys next we have an email from francis howell um one of my favorite moments no tea disneyland paris with my favorite characters francis so let's have oh that is a good picture. Um, I love Fantasyland so much in Disneyland Paris. I really do miss it, guys. Watching these like pictures and looking at them and everything now is making me miss it more. But it's also making my heart happy. So that's a nice shot of you with um, Alice and Mad Hatter with your teas. <laughs> Alice looks surprised. Um, yeah, I love it. And it looks like a very sunny day as well. So it would have been a nice day, I imagine. Next email is from Martin Wright. Uh, Martin says, Hi Sam, would love to feature in your Disney Memories video. I've attached some pics from my first ever MNSSHP, which is Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, uh, where I dressed up as the main mouse himself. My wife went as your favorite chick, <laughs> but I won't share those without her permission. 
<laughs> That's cute. There's also a PSA saying you love your vlogs. Thank you very much, Martin. And also very kind of you to not share pictures without anyone's permission. That's always should be the case. Um, and let me have a look at your face. Oh, wow. Okay, Martin, you look phenomenal. Like you're basically Mickey. I mean, I wonder like what Mickey, how Mickey reacted when he saw you as Mickey because you are him. Um, let's have a look at the second picture. Oh, there you go. You've met him now. <laughs> That is such a great shot of both of you. Whoa. And there's another photo with you like doing the hand. This is great. Um, yeah, that is it. I love it. You like, honestly, 10 out of 10 for the effort that you put with your outfit. Like, I don't think I would have put that much effort, but you honestly look phenomenal. Okay, I'm going to try and do a few more, even though I'm very aware that this video is probably quite long already. So we've got some from Vicky Robbins. Uh, the best memories is showing characters my tattoos of them. I adore Pinocchio, it's my favourite film and he's my favourite character so meeting him is a bit more special now and I also adore Woody too. Well done. I understand your love of Woody and Pinocchio as well to be fair. Pinocchio is quite a rare character these days. They call him what, like a long lost friend in the American parks? He's not a long lost friend in Paris. You can meet him quite easily in Paris but I think in, in Disney World he's quite rare. Um, but he's, he's, he's a great character, I agree with you. He's not somebody that people often talk about so I'm glad that you mentioned him as one of your favourites. Let's look at the photos now. Oh, oh that's cute. I can see Pinocchio being like with your arm in his hands, looking at the tattoo. Oh, and Geppetto seeing it as well. Wow, wow, they were, they were all very intrigued. I love it, very cute. And then Woody, oh my God, that picture of you with Woody. That is so cool. I'm trying to figure out what the tattoo is. Let me try and, I'm gonna try and zoom on this. I can't see the, oh, I mean, I can, it's definitely Woody. Obviously the tattoo is Woody, but I just wanna see it better. I wonder, did you send pictures of these to me on Instagram? I think you may have done, you know? Yes, Vicky, I do remember. Maybe I'm wrong. Leave comments down below and let me know, but I feel like when you first got them, you might have messaged me on Instagram or DM me about them. Or maybe you asked me like what the pain was like after tattoo, something like that. But I just feel like I've seen them. Because I kind of, something is coming back into my memories. But that shot of you with Woody is great. And there's another one of you with Woody. Oh, Woody. These are really nice shots, actually, because the last one in particular, you can actually see the tattoo very well as well, as well as Woody. Let me know in the comments if you have indeed sent me these um, uh, pictures of your tattoos before, because I feel like I've seen them, because uh, I obviously can't see them very well from these photos. But um, I'm really glad you shared these with me anyway, because I agree with you, obviously. I have a couple of Disney tattoos myself, and for me, one of my greatest memories still to this day actually happened only a few months ago on my last ever trip to Disney World, which was in February. I can't believe, you know, it was only like a few months ago, and now look at the world. But yeah, this in the vlogs, I showed my tattoos of joy and sadness to Joy, and Joy was like over the moon. He, she could not believe it. I wish sadness would have been there as well, but it was just Joy, and it was great. Um, and I agree. As somebody who enjoys tattoos and obviously loves Disney, it's a very fun thing to do. Next, we have some photos from Julia Titch, maybe? I hope I've said that correctly. Um, hi Sam, I hope you are well. Thank you so much for doing this project. I know it will bring so many people joy. Thank you guys for sharing these pictures with me, honestly. It's brought me joy for sure. I have been watching your videos for years and I just want to say thank you. Oh, that's really, really kind of you. Your videos have given me something to look forward to in hard times and some awesome recommendations. Julia, you are too kind. Thank you very much and I really genuinely appreciate your support. I wanted to send along a blog that my best friend Emerald has been working on. It is Disney through the decades uh, dot home dot blog. She is writing witty and informative posts about each of the 58 Disney animations films. Oh, that's really cool. I'll definitely check it out. Thank you. I have also included some of my favorite Disney photos. Attached to this email is a photo of my fiance, Alyssa, and myself on our first trip to Walt Disney World together. I'm in the rose gold ears and she's in the blue. The second photo is myself and my best friend Emerald in Disneyland, California, CA, celebrating her move to LA. And the last photo is myself and my mom on the opening weekend of Pandora and Animal Kingdom. Thank you again and I look forward to seeing your video. Okay, let's have a look at the first photo first. That is cute. That is very, very cute. That's you and Alyssa um, in front of Disney World's castle. I love both of your ears I, a lot. Like, you look so happy as well. This, this is a great shot because you can just tell how excited and happy you both are and I enjoy it. The next picture, like you said, is the picture of you with your best friend Emerald who's done the blog. So let's have a look. Oh, ooh, with Flynn. And, yep, that's a nice shot as well. I've that is so cute. I think I'm pretty sure I met uh, Flynn and uh, Rapunzel when I went to California in this exact location maybe, but that's it's a great shot. So 
thank you for that. And then the next one is of you and your mum in Pandora. Oh, that's really cute. That is really cute. Guys, I really, really miss Animal Kingdom. I don't know why. I feel like of the parks that I miss the most, Disneyland Paris is obviously up there, and then Animal Kingdom. Um, you guys look very happy, both of you as well. And um, yeah, I wish I, I, I need to take my mum, you know. I feel like my mum hasn't been to any Disney park in a long time. And we were going to go this year for my 30th birthday, but uh, that's not happening. Anyway, guys, I'll leave Julia's link that she mentioned in my description down below if any of you guys want to check out the blog that her friend's been working on, because it sounds very interesting. I'm definitely going to go and have a look at it myself. The next email is from Lauren Tilbury. Lauren, I know you. We met once at my meetup, like 2017 that was, which is crazy, over two years ago now. Just want to give a massive shout out to Lauren just generally because she's a phenomenal supporter. She's been supporting me and my channel for a long time, and she's really lovely so thank you Lauren your support is never unnoticed she says hey Sam it's Lauren who came to your meetup in London and generally fangirls over your Instagram photos and YouTube videos sorry about that Lauren never apologize for that I've attached some photos for you the first photo is me on Tower of Terror back in 2016 my first ever time on the ride my face definitely says it all I hated it it's such a shame as I love the idea of the ride the theme of the ride and seeing it stand tall in the studios park but I hate the way it made my stomach drop let me have a look at oh <laughs> Lauren, that is a hilarious photo. I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but that is that is great. A great memory, right? Not gonna lie, like you have to admit it. I actually, personally, Tower of Terror is one of my favorite rides in Disneyland Paris. I love it a lot. And one of my favorite things to do is to take my friends who've never been on it on that ride with me. So if I go to Disneyland Paris with a friend who's never been before and it's their first time, I try my best to convince them to go on the ride. And I've got quite a few pictures now with quite a few of my friends on that ride where they've been terrified some of them have loved it from the first time you know some of them have been surprised as to how much they've actually enjoyed it and they've looked really happy in the photos but a few of them have just looked terrified so it's one of my favorite things to do and that shot is one of those shots that i would have enjoyed as well so thank you for sharing it then lauren says the second photo is me selfieing with my favorite gal rapunzel i queued for two hours to meet her Stunning my pins, jumper plus my Rapunzel and thin ears made by me. You are a phenomenal ear maker. I still have your ears, by the way, obviously, that you gave me at the meetup a few years ago. The cast members didn't rush my time with her, and I think I spent about 10 minutes just hanging out with the chick. <laughs> I love that you guys use my lingo, guys, the whole chick thing that I say. Funny part is, the cast member taking the photos that day saw me the next day when I met Mickey and said Rapunzel talked about me all afternoon once my meeting week was over. Oh, that's so cute. Such a lovely comment that made me smile. But Rapunzel is my fave, so this meant the world. Let's have oh, that is a cute shot. That is an adorable picture. Wow, I love your outfit as well. Like the ears, of course, are amazing, but you know with what you're wearing as well. Um, and and it's just nice that they took a photo of you taking a selfie. I think that's just really cute. Well done. And then Lauren says my third and final photo. I got engaged on the same trip, which was sadly a while ago now, back in December 2018. And on our last night, my partner Ben got down on one knee and asked me to marry him. That is so, so cute. So here is the Instagram announcement photo. We are getting married this November. And our first dance will be to I See The Light from Tangle. That is so cute. The song was chosen by Ben. So that's something to look forward to doing these very strange times. Let's have a look. Oh, that is so cute, Lauren. That is a really, really nice shot of you with the castle. It's just very cute. And you've got the ring and it's just all very exciting and I really hope that everything is okay by November. I know that a lot of people are worried right now. I'm worried about the smallest things. I can't imagine what it's like to be worrying about a wedding. I feel like it should be fine, you know. November's still months away. Yeah, that's really sweet. It is really sweet and it's cute that you've chosen that song, I See The Light From Tangled, as your first dance. It's gonna be amazing. Whenever it happens, it's gonna be amazing and I'm very, very happy for you, Lauren. We're gonna do a few more, maybe two or three more. So Ariel Kers Kerslake, maybe? I'm so sorry if I've mispronounced your name. Please, again, if I have, do let me know how to pronounce it properly because I always try to learn. Um, anyway, Ariel says, hey Sam, firstly, hope you are doing well and keeping safe. Thank you very much. Uh, here are a couple of snaps from our most recent and first trip to Disney World. We stayed at Port Orleans Riverside and had a lot of fun. Tinkerbell freaked out when she saw that she was on my handbag. Looking forward to your video. Let's have a look. So the first one, is of you guys with uh what's her name rafiki that's the one um looking great both of you i love your outfit really really cute um and then the second one is just a nice shot of one of the water parks i would imagine typhoon lagoon maybe or is it blizzard beach we've got a very cute photo of you with pluto that's literally adorable like photo goals to be honest hugging and everything and then the last one is of you with tinkerbell and tinkerbell's face guys <laughs> That is 
phenomenal. That is such a good photo. Um, thank you for sharing it. You just look so happy <laughs> with life. And the bag is really cool. I've seen the bag. Um, uh, and yeah, it's a really nice bag. And Tinkerbell's, yeah, she's having a great time loving it. Yeah. The next email is from Ricky the Abro. Um, Hi Sam, it's Ricky here. These are some of my favorite Disney memories. They're all from December 2016 with a 13 year old closeted transgender female me. Whoa, whoa, what a story. Okay, I'm excited to read some more now. I knew that this trip was probably going to be the last time I would be at Disney as a child. I live all the way in South Africa, though we'll probably be moving to London soon. I'm not supposed to tell anyone that. Oops. Hopefully nobody watches this video. So I decided to live my fullest, most magical life. Very cheesy, I know. I was there for four days and would queue up in the cold for character meet and greets and rides. On the fourth day, where at 3 p.m. I was meant to be going on the Eurostar to London, I was so sick I couldn't move my feet without throwing up. Anything I ate or drank, I threw it back out. So I spent all the time I was meant to be enjoying Disney magic, lying down on the sofa in the Disneyland Paris Hotel by some miracle. I was lucky enough to make the Eurostar. Lord have mercy, that sounds not very fun. I'm sorry that that happened. Uh, although, having said that, the Disneyland Hotel sofas are very comfortable and I, I'm not gonna lie, I've done the same a few times when I've not been feeling too well. I've never thankfully had to throw up or felt as bad as you did, but if I feel just like a little bit like I can't really be in the parks anymore, I do sometimes go to the Disneyland Paris Hotel and just sit on the sofas. A funnier story is the one about my meeting greet with the Queen of Hearts. I knew she would probably be the only villain I would meet, so I took inspiration from your encounters with Jafar when you stepped on his cloak. Lord have mercy! And decided that the most memorable and fun way to meet a villain was to annoy the F out of them. Uh, when I first met the Queen I offered to squeeze the weary pimple on her face. As you can imagine she was pissed off and refused to let me kiss her hand as I said goodbye. Anyway, I hope you're not too depressed during this weird time. Just think every day uh, forward is a day closer to this virus being defeated. I agree Ricky, I really do and I'm so excited to look at the photos because you've sent me quite a lot of photos and I haven't probably seen any of them yet, I've just read your story. Firstly thank you very much for everything that you wrote and all the photos and for, for wishing me well. I hope everyone is doing well in this time. Anyway let's have a look at the pictures. Oh, I've just seen the one of you with the Queen of Hearts. Phenomenal. Also love your vans. I enjoy them. I have them as well. I'm not gonna lie. Really nice taste you've got there. The Queen of Heart does look angry as well. The Queen of Heart is actually a pretty scary character to me. I'm not gonna lie. All the villains are. Jafar is as well now I think about it. I feel like maybe the only like villain that I've met who I've not been too scared about meeting is maybe Captain Hook. The majority of them are literally terrifying and, and like Gaston. Gaston's not too terrifying but yeah Queen of Heart is scary. I can see <laughs> I can see that in the whole picture here. Um, the picture of you with Eeyore at a meet and greet, which is very cute as well. <laughs> he just looks so huggable, Eeyore, I love him. There's one of you in front of the castle, um, which is also cute. It's actually a very nice shot again, really, really nice shot. You can see basically the whole castle, and yet you're also very visible, and because you're not, not too close to the castle, it's like, it's just a very nice shot. I'm very proud of it. Well done to whoever took it. Oh, and the tree, the Christmas tree. I miss Disneyland Paris at Christmas time so much. I didn't get to go last year because I went to Hong Kong Disneyland instead and it would have been too much. But yeah, Christmas at Disneyland Paris, for me personally, is my absolute favorite time to be in Disneyland Paris, so and the tree honestly it's so magical again a really nice shot of you here anyway wiki i hope everything goes well for you i hope you do get to move to london um obviously with this whole virus situation going on who knows when things will become a bit more normal but um yeah i'm proud of you i'm proud of you for following your dreams and also the fact that you're hopefully no longer closeted or you no longer feel like you have to hide your true self because you really don't and um disney is all about being your true self and being true to yourself and yeah let me know, leave a comment down below, let me know how you're doing right now because I really enjoyed reading your story. Now, I think we might have one more email to go through or time for just one more email because I've been filming for like over half an hour already. And the last one is gonna be by Emma Jeffrey. So, hey Sam, these are a few of my memories. I went to Disney with a friend, but after half a day she left me and went back home because she was homesick. Oh no, that's sad. What I thought was going to be the worst holiday ever I stuck to my gut and stayed and had the most amazing time by myself. First time alone and would do it again in a heartbeat. Number one, well done. I'm really, really glad that you did decide to stay and continue the holiday despite things going a bit wrong. At the end of the day, you can't control how your friend felt, you know. You can't control anyone's actions really and I'm sure your friend had a, a legitimate reason to want to leave, you know. I think it's really important, especially with Disney and it's just in life in general, to be independent. As independent as you can, not rely on anyone 
for your own happiness especially with a holiday because you've paid so much you've looked forward to something and you know quite often even if somebody doesn't like it's, it's not as extreme as somebody necessarily leaving full on to go back home there will always be times when your friends or your family or whoever you're with on a holiday just doesn't want to do what you want to do it will just always happen there's no way that every single person in life will just want the same things so it's really important to be able to then just say well I want to do this thing so I'm just going to take some time outside and just kind of leave this person do what I want to do and maybe meet up with them again in the future obviously your case was a bit more extreme but anyway I just thought I'd throw this in there I got into the park early before it opened saw Disney in the snow oh. Wow, that is honestly one of my dreams to see Disneyland Paris in the snow. I've seen photos of it, it looks really magical, but I've never actually experienced it. So, waited till park closed to see an empty Main Street. My favorite meet out of all of them was Donald Duck. Cast members made my trip so magical and have so many brilliant memories from that trip. Thanks, Emma. All right, let's have a look. So, first photo is of It's a Small World and the outside of it in Disneyland Paris, which is one of my favorite rides of all time in Paris, that is. Really despise it in Disney World. It's not that good there, honestly. Then you've sent me a picture of the car. Oh, wow. Yeah, the castle with snow on Main Street, that is a magical shot, beautiful. And then there's one of you with Donald and you look so happy. You look like you're literally lolling, like full on lolling. And Donald's like being very cheeky. Don't know what he would have said. When Donald wiggles his bum, okay. <laughs> Donald was wiggling his bum at you, that is great. Emma. Thank you very much for sharing these and thank you to all of you guys for every single email that you have sent me over the past two months. Sorry that it's taken me this long to make these videos but like I said I honestly didn't think I would be making more than one video. I thought one video would be it and I didn't think I'd be getting more than like 10 emails but I got a lot. I have tried my very best to react to every single one of them but I probably would have still missed a few here and there so if I have Please don't be sad, I didn't do this on purpose. I just got a lot of emails and yeah, it would have been easy, unfortunately, to miss some. Um, I might do something similar to this again in the future. I might just do like another kind of Disney or maybe theater kind of video where I take your input and maybe react to some things that you might share with me. I don't know, I feel like the time that we're living in right now is a good time to connect. I don't know why I do that. But just like, it's good to make things with people that maybe you wouldn't necessarily make things with or you wouldn't necessarily connect with. I think that's really cool actually. I've seen so many great projects and videos and stuff online and i think that's one of the best things that's actually come out of this really really dark time so yeah keep updated subscribe if you want more videos like this because i am hoping to just make more videos like this and i feel like we're gonna be in, in the house in our houses for a while still even if lockdown ends next month which hopefully i mean i don't know maybe it will maybe it won't i for sure know that i'll be still spending most of my time indoors anyway because even if lockdown ends the virus is still going to be around it's not like it's just going to magically go away so we're, we're in this for a while still but i do hope that you're all doing the best as you can and i'm very hungry so i'm gonna go and eat something it's like 6 30 p.m so yeah thank you so much for everything guys uh, stay well and i'll see you in the next video bye